So I arrived in Madrid yesterday. I was greeted by a metro line that is currently up for uh, maintenance uh, through for the next month or two, line number eight. So I wanted to take the metro into central Madrid, had to take a bus instead, wasn't able to withdraw some money from the ATM at first, had to use a different card, it gave me 50 euro notes. The bus didn't accept 50 euro notes, it only accepted five euro notes, so I had to go to the cafe and spend some money in order to get a five, a 10 or a 20 euro note in order to get on the bus and get into Madrid. All of that took quite a while, but eventually I came into Atocha Station. It's a beautiful station. It's also the principal point where the 2004 terrorist attacks occurred. Uh, and on the first day, it was mainly two and a half hours, just a self-guided walking tour around the area. I get that it's the Ministry of Equality, but does the building really have to be so monotonous? I tried to go in to see some museums. I've been told that Madrid has some wonderful museums. Apparently what I wasn't told is by museums, people meant art galleries. So um, the Prado Museum is an art gallery. The Reina Sofia is a, an art gallery. And then I saw the Thyssen Museum. And I thought, oh great, it's a museum about the Thyssen Krupp company that makes elevators. So I went in hoping to see a museum all about elevators. No, 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 it's just another art gallery. So made it back to the hostel, ended up having this conversation with a, um, a Spaniard a little bit older than I am, uh, Manuel. His name is, he's recently been working in England. He works in um, sort of the, the restaurant industry, cutting ham in particular. Apparently ham, really big deal here in Spain. You find it in quite a lot of areas. Picked up this ham sandwich for one euro. It's about a dollar fifty, dollar forty. Probably the most economic meal I can get. Mm. So Spaniard called Manuel, recently working in England in the hospitality industry and left because his boss was apparently a little bit crazy. So reminded me a little bit of Faulty Towers. Um, very interesting um, individual to chat to. Today I went on a walking tour. We went around from near the palace, the royal palace, around to the Plaza Mayor and then back around to the palace again. We were lucky enough to experience the changing of the guards at the Royal Palace and the big one happens on the first Wednesday of the month. So all of these, I think about 400 soldiers, quite a few horses all going in and out of the palace itself. Very, very impressive. It's apparently the second largest Royal Palace in Europe. Only the St. Petersburg one is larger. So it's larger than Versailles in Paris. It's larger than Buckingham Palace in London. Madrid has quite a lot of old things. So I'm not just talking churches and palaces and museums, but just shops themselves. And if you're a shop that's been around for at least a hundred years, you're entitled to get this little plaque at the front. So we saw you know, a restaurant that's been around for 300 years, a bookshop that's been around for about 400 years, and it's very, very strict on what you can do. If you rename the store, if you try and change it to something else, if you move it from one location to another, you lose access to that plaque. So you really want to make sure you keep that going and it's a really nice way to promote heritage in the city because if you lose it then people won't come to your store so you really want to stand out from you know, the Starbucks and the McDonald's. Puerta del Sol which is a plaza sort of in the center of Madrid is actually considered the center of the country so when Madrid was built it was positioned in the uh, middle of the country and by built I mean set up as the capital and so all of the the roads um, emanating from that point the street numbering is is started from there the highway kilometers distance from the capital is measured from that point and that's from what's called Puerta del Sol like I said a, a plaza the, from Google Maps if you look at it is designed to look like a sun setting and then the rays of the sun are the streets sort of emanating out from from the plaza and that's where a lot of people come to see for example you know, New Year's the Times Square of Madrid if you will it has been raining a little bit today so I'm going to spend the rest of this day inside recovering and until then I will see you all next time <laughs>